found on me the photography boards that to people that had the Nissan i40 flash which has been bricked for the X-T2 they're just having a hissy fit I have that flash by the way but I've been warning every one of you that TTL is a form of slavery because as soon as a company decides to update the firmware they can brick every other off-brand camera out there uh, at flash excuse me speedlight uh, break every speed light out there that exists uh, for TTL and high speed sync functionality. Um, it is the case that uh, Nissan said that you can send the speed light back into them and they will uh, do like a four day turnaround on updating the firmware. I don't actually know if I want to do that. I can just continue to use TTL function on the XT1 until at, what, at which point, which by the way, the XT1 was just discontinued, they release a firmware update and they will. They're going to release a new firmware update for the X-T1 and uh, the, uh, the X-Pro2 to make it compatible with the new METS flash, which is the Fuji film flash, the EF-X500. So once they do that, then that uh, speed light will be bricked across the board. This is what you don't get. I mean, <laughs> you know, everybody thinks they need TTL. You do need TTL for a few things like photojournalism, for a news uh, news uh, photography, we're doing some bursting of, you know, some guy walking into uh, the courtroom. <laughs> you need TTL photography for that. You generally don't need TTL flash photography. Sorry, you don't. Um, you need to learn. The smarter uh, the cameras and the speed lights get, the more advanced they get, the dumber you get. You need to learn how to uh, use a damn speed light. It's like this subject is eight feet away. You can stick it in an auto mode. Auto mode will work with any speed light with any camera. That simply senses the light reflected back. In some instances, auto mode actually works better than TTL. TTL is certainly not flawless. I mean, just like program mode is not flawless on a camera. You know, it's not. I mean, no, a camera is as dumb as the flash is. And, uh,. So many people are just having a hissy fit over on Diaper and P. In other words, like, oh my god, my Nissan's dead on the XT2. It's like I warned you, you know, TTL and high speed sync is a type of slavery. If uh, a camera company says, you know, screw all these other companies, we're going to release a firmware update and brick those speed lights, that's their prerogative to do so because that's their camera, that's their firmware. And if they don't want anybody else rocking their TTL technology, which they'll always backwards engineer it anyway, um, then that's their prerogative. And uh, is it something to complain about? Not really. You knew it to begin with, or at least you should have, before you bought that off-brand TTL speedlight. You should have known it. Um, you need to learn how to do uh, manual flash photography. Um, some people will say, well, you know, I can't use that in a wedding. You know, I just, oh, oh, oh. Really? You can't? I'm pretty sure there have been like 50, 60 years of wedding photographers that have uh, been doing flash photography without TTL capability. And if uh, you think you need it, and you're absolutely wrong. There's this neat little thing that's a lot better than TTL photography, flash photography, and it's called skills. They used to teach that stuff. It's like, yeah, we're going you know, to teach you some skills so you can actually hit it every time. And uh, you could be taught or teach yourself these skills within one day and then you're not bound by the slavery of TTL it's like oh my god this Fuji I gotta buy the super expensive four hundred fifty dollar speed light no you don't you're gonna take like a forty year uh, a forty dollar fifteen year old Nikon speed light and use it with any Fuji or any Canon you want you know all you have to do is use a uh, a, a TTL not a TTL cable a flash cable or a set of wireless triggers you know I don't care what speed light it is. I mean, a piece of junk made for a Canon 10 years ago, it will work with this Fuji. It'll work in auto mode and it'll work in manual mode. You know, all you people, you think you need TTL flash photography, you know? That's like someone saying, oh my god, I can't shoot an aperture priority or manual. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. There is absolutely no... Flash photography is the number one thing that scares people the most. Like, oh my god, I don't get it. I don't... You, you, you see, every professional studio strobe behind me, none of those suckers work off of TTL. Do you know that? They don't. <laughs> they don't work off TTL. They work off of people. It's like people that own these have to have the skills. They need to know what the hell to do and how to use them. It's like, you're right. It's exactly right. 
This is also the reason why I laugh when people talk about, oh, light meters, throwback technology. Number one photography channel on YouTube, guy says, I hate it when I see people just like old coots who use that throwback technology. Uh, honey, honey doll, if you have a studio strobe, you need, you need a light meter. You, you need, you know, every professional that does true uh, studio strobe work, they, they have a light meter for a reason. Um... So I see all these people are just, I think that their their, their douchebags are clogged up or, uh, you know, maybe they're uh, intellectually constipated. They're just having a hissy fit. They're just, uh, one person says, I canceled my order for the X-T2 because, you know, it bricked my Nissan speed light. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> That's so funny. What on earth makes you think you need TTL? If you're a photojournalist, you know, if you're, uh, if you're uh, a paparazzi, yeah, uh-huh, TTL is useful in a shooting on the fly, something immediately enters the scene and it's going to be immediately changing distances, yeah, TTL, fine, have one expensive TTL speed light for that, fine, the rest of it, you don't need TTL flash photography, you don't. It's making you lazy. It's turning your brain into jello. You, you need to learn how to hell to use a speed light. And using it in the stupid way that people have been using it now for 50 years, 60 years, 70 years. It's like, you know the distance. You know the ISO that you have set. You already had your ISO set before you entered the scene, damn it. It's like, oh, this subject is about 10 feet away. I'm going to stick it at 132nd power and I'm going to nail it. And if I got if it's just like a stop under... You know, I'll adjust my sliders in Lightroom. You'll be able to nail it within a half a stop every time. So what are you complaining about? Really? Hmm? Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> Catch you later. Bye.